hello and welcome back to plant on planning happy uh new year happy 2019 i wish you all the best and much success but as you can see we have a blank week to start and that means we have to get some things down some things in order because we want to start the new year off right and organize say it with me people organize that's right i want to get nice and organized going into the new year this way i don't have to worry about it later on but anyway so i set up all of my planners that i will be using this year Okay, make sure I get the pages right. Right, so I set up all the planners and everything's ready to go. I also posted a couple of videos talking about my old planners, so my new planners, things of that nature. So don't forget to check those out as well. But it's back to business and I'm down to brass tactics and all that wonderful stuff. And let's get these weeks together because granted... We have the whole week to get things done. Granted, it's a short work week. I don't go back to work until the 2nd, which is Wednesday. Totally 100% loving that. But the work that I have to get accomplished does not stop. Like, I still have dreams that I want to accomplish and goals that I want to aspire and all that beautiful and wonderful stuff. And it sounds completely, totally awesome. And to get them done, I have to get my planners in order. So... Here is the washi that I'm working with. I thought this one was really awesome for January and especially for the first week of January. It says the future is bright. Like how awesome is that? Like a wonderful phrase to take on for this week to get myself fully in order. Because granted, um, I was kind of slow to start and I will be 100% honest about that. Like I was on vacation and I was in straight vacation mode i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have it in the past and i'm not gonna start now i was in straight vacation mode 100 percent vacation mode and what that means is i kind of waited until the last minute to get everything set up so i bought my planners first quarter real early in the game like, I was not playing when it came to buying my planners. I've had my planners bought and ready to go, sitting, looking pretty since, I want to say, like, October when they came out. I think the new planners for Recollections, because I use Recollections planners, came out mid-October. I was in the store. As soon as they dropped, I'm not even going to lie, I was in the store as soon as they dropped. And I got my planner on. I was not playing any games. I'm not lying to you guys. So they've been there. They've been awesome. They've been wonderful. I just was lazy to actually set them up and put them together. So, of course, um, when it came to my six ring planners, I don't know why this isn't tearing. When it came to my six ring planners, of course, I couldn't set them up until you know i finished the other one so that was that but all of my other planners like my um coils i was able to get started with them kind of right away you know there's not much setup that happens for a coil planner but nonetheless there were some other things i had to do you know i was buying washi and stickers like crazy let's just be honest i was so I'm super excited to actually get this going and on the way. I'm excited for all the things that 2019 is going to bring. You know, I'm trying to definitely get more organized, but grow as a planner, to be honest. So, you know, I'm going to expand my horizons. And if you haven't got gotten to watch my planner videos where I talk about my 2018 compared to my 2019 planners, I've changed up my planner style just a tad where I've gone from horizontal to vertical. That is a huge thing for me. And I kind of found like my first, my first challenge moment when it came to like actually picking the stickers and picking the washi and things like that, where it's like, I'm used to doing something a certain way because I've been a vertical planner for, I want to say, three years. And 
this year I'm going to, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been a horizontal planner for three years. And this year I'm going to vertical. So it is very different, to say the least. It is extremely different, to be honest. Just when it comes to like how you write things down and definitely the style of things. Like, I don't know. Like I'm used to writing sentences when I put things down. So it'll be like, you know, if I need to make an appointment for something, I'll write that whole sentence out. Need to make doctor's appointment. As opposed to like in a vertical planner, you have about this much space. So I would have to now write schedule DR appointment. Like I'd write out the whole doctor. So it's gonna be very, I'm not even gonna front. It's gonna be difficult the first couple of months. I'm hoping the first month, but truthfully, it might go into, like, February where I'm like, what the frick did I do? Like, why did I even change my mind? But I'm hoping I get the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, a lot of people use vertical planners and the vertical planner layout. So I'm hoping to get some great inspiration from the planner community, you know, checking on social media, Facebook, Instagram, things of that nature. I don't see many um, planner stuff on Snap, but that just may be... I'm not following enough planner people on Snap. Maybe that's what it is. Let's not blame somebody else. I might be the one lacking. But nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless. I'm hoping to find tons of inspiration from the planner community, to be honest. Because it's not like I'm the first and only person to ever use the vertical layout. But this is indeed my first time. 100% out of my comfort zone. And that's really why I wanted to do it. Because it's going to really challenge me, to be very honest. And I'm actually all for it. I wanted to do something very new, very different. Expand my horizons, so to speak, you know, into the new year. And I thought that was just one way to do it. I have some other New Year's resolutions, but changing up my planner style is definitely one of them. But as you can see, I do have in my social planner, Creature of Habit, I am still sticking to my horizontal layout because in this instance, I need to write in sentence or paragraph form. So I just found some stickers. And I will be very honest, these are the stickers that I'm using. Um, if you use a recollections planner, whether it be vertical, horizontal, or hourly, these are the stickers that they come with. So you get like a preset of stickers. Um, as you can see, I did not use all of my stickers for last year. So I just tore them out before throwing the books away, which, let me tell you, throwing the books away was like so difficult, but I managed and I was able to do it. <sighs> I was able to. So, that's what I was left with. And that's what I'm using. As well as my um, Create 365 Quotes sticker book. I found a really nice quote that I wanted to start the year off with. And the first week off with. And it's a great day to start. I thought that was pretty Darn awesome. Ha 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 ha. It is a great day to start. Like another great one is no time like the present. I found this one. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. And that is what I think is beautiful and wonderful. And I totally love it. Along with these two, these two like, you know, banners that say work it. And this one says, this is your year. I'm trying to keep the positive inspo going. If you have not realized, this is time for a good day. Keep going. And I love this, which says do the impossible. 
And I think that's what I need on a Saturday. Because Saturdays, I seem to be bogged down with, like, so much to do, to be very honest. I'm not going to act like I'm, like, the most busy person in the whole entire world. But there's a lot that needs to be done in my little life. And Saturday is really my catch-all day. So I'm going to put this here on Friday, to be honest. And I know it's a Friday. And then I want to put one on Saturday as well. Because Saturday, you know, that's when you do the grocery shopping, you do any little errands, you gotta pick up this, drop off that, go see this person about that, go see this other person about that, you know, go see a man about a dog. All that wonderful stuff happens on Saturday. I even gotta get my car washed. Mm, thanks for reminding me. Car wash. But, social-wise, that was all the personal stuff that needs to get done. Social-wise... Uh, social planning wise is where I do all of my recording, all of my editing, all of my uploading and posting. All that stuff goes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So my weekends are very, very hectic. And what I've learned um, over last year and definitely the latter part of last year is that I cram too much into Saturday. So now I'm learning to use Friday as well because... I'm not doing much on a Friday evening. So if I can move one or two things to Friday, like grocery shopping, that leaves me extra space on Saturday where I'm not falling dead to the world on a Saturday night and I can't even like really enjoy myself. But this is what I have to get my week started. I mean, granted, there's going to be like tons of other things that need to go into this, things I need to write down, maybe a couple more stickers to keep me in order, like a don't forget or to do things of that nature. But this is how I'm going to start the week. And I'm pretty set and ready to go here. I do thank you ever so much for joining me today. It was so much fun and I had such a great time chit-chatting and talking with you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. Um, I love you know, engaging and interacting with you guys. If you have something that you feel is a little more personal and you want to reach out to me via email, you can do that as well. I'll definitely respond back to your email you know, in a short amount of time. I'm not going to stay right away because that's not true but i will get back to you within like an hour or two so don't even worry about that um and do not forget to follow me on social media and once you hit the follow button go a little bit up and hit the send message and let me know that you saw the video and you can ask any questions that you want to ask but in the meantime in between time later days